it's another Tuesday here on the YouTubes, and hopefully this is the end of this damn train. It's so long. Uh, I'm back with Nate here in Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, and that's our objective. We are trying to find Chloe so we can get her out of here, but <laughs> spoke too soon. Looks like there's going to be a boss fight here. I have no idea how this guy is a juggernaut. He has bare arms, but... Um... <laughs> Oh, jeez. Looks like he can absorb a ton of punishment. Oh, and he's got a perfect grenade toss on us. Oh! <laughs> Just the way that we wanted to start this off, right? Let's try this again. Get in there, Nate. use this pistole here. I don't think that grenade's gonna hurt us, even though all logic says it should. Boom. Is this gonna turn? Oh, I thought it was gonna turn into a melee sequence. I guess he just doesn't uh, have enough Navarro in him. Oh! Come on! Get him, Nate! Oh, man. There we go. Oh, boy. And he had our Purbadagger. He had our Purbadagger all along. Oh, jeez. He's still not done. Ooh. Good save, Chloe. Save my ass again. Are you alright? Get off the train, mate. You have any idea what I've been through? I never asked for any of your bloody heroics. Chloe, come on, we don't have time for this. You're right, so get off the train while you still can. And leave you with them. You made your choice. What did you expect me to do? I expected you to have my back. I had your back. How could you possibly with the other two on yours? Well, good luck with Flynn. We deserve each other. You know, I can't believe- Ooh. You just don't know when to quit, do you? What? No witty remark? Nothing clever to say? No, don't. No! So that's how, no, uh... You don't. That's how Nate got wounded at the beginning of the game. Stop. Just let him go. Put him out of his misery! Oh, jeez. Kind of amazed uh, Harry would miss from that range. <laughs> I guess that that speaks a bit to his incompetence here. Here goes nothing. Oh boy. And that explains the train wreck, the huge train wreck from the prologue. There's chapter 15, train wrecks. And I'm, I'm guessing they're going to have us repeat, you know, what we did in the very first chapter of the game, so let's go ahead and do it. the edge just follow the yellow pipes or actually there's like some of this uh, undercarriage here that we can use oh god <laughs> I know that stone isn't going to uh, isn't going to take us out but just the fact that uh, you have something that huge combined with the sound design in this game still gets me <laughs> still has a still sends a chill down my 
still sends oh, chills God. down my spine. <laughs> Anyway, like I'm saying, I think, uh, Harry's gun is, uh, some kind of magnum, right? I'm kind of amazed that it didn't just blow a hole, a bigger hole, through, uh, through Nate's side there. Alright, let's go ahead and swing across. Nothing like they used to. Whoa. Oh, I, is it going to make us, uh... Ah, uh, it's not making us do every single part of the the first chapter. Yeah, if you remember, we had to, uh, do some climbing on some of the, uh, chairs there while we were inside for a bit. This one holds. More and more ridiculous situations with Nate Drake. Let's go ahead and hop up. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, there we go. I guess I wasn't close enough to the ladder to trigger that animation. So I guess Chloe, you know, just really not grateful for our help here. But she's still concerned for us, ultimately. And, uh... You know, Flynn is kind of a dick. I was wondering why I didn't start the jump animation there. But, um... Kind of weird. I guess in that one moment there, that brief instance where he was on the ground, that's where we had our first flashback of the game. But yeah, we're thankfully back on solid ground. It's gonna flash forward? Yeah, it's gonna flash forward. And... Pretty much an example of Deus Ex Machina here with the... with the Perba Dagger being... coincidentally, right in front of us. But hey, we gotta advance the story one way or another, right? And this is where we had our last flashback. And now the uh, the timelines will have merged. Yeah. This is something that didn't happen at the beginning of the game. So right now we're back at the present. <laughs> Looks like Flynn sent out some, uh, some mercenaries here. And we're going to have to try and fight our way out. Of course. See if I can knock this guy out. Perfect. So I've got the FAL. A couple of people sneaking around here. Let's see if I can take out this propane tank. That didn't really do anything. <laughs> I'm right here, buddy. I'll probably use this grenade right now. Oh. How are you still alive, buddy? You're dead. Oh, jeez. Looks like there were a lot more of them than I thought. I think the rest of them are flanking me. To the left. Sounds like it, yeah. Oh, shoot. More of them over here? Let's take the high ground. Oh, there's a noob to it. Perfect. I don't think I see anyone else, though. I think there's some grenades in here. Let's go ahead and grab them. Whoa, 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 whoa. No thanks. <laughs> Bring it on. Come on. You're dead. 
All right. <laughs> Looks like these guys are just coming in from every single angle. You know, and judging from where we are, I don't think anyone's going to be bailing us out. All right, looks like I'm out of secondary ammo. Oh, shoot. Come on! <laughs> Just straight up push him off. And some guys showing up on the far, far reach of the map there. Let's see if that grenade takes out anyone. Nope. Come on. <laughs> right in the face. Come on, there's gotta be an M4. Let's go ahead and go out back. Looks like everybody has reduced visibility in the storm. I could have sworn these guys would be picking me off by now. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Toss that grenade too far. Watch out. Oh shoot! <laughs> I didn't think that wreckage would be flying towards me. But, um, wow. I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, had I been in the path of that thing, oh shoot. I probably would have been taken out myself. Looks like there's another, uh, another juggernaut here. Is there another guy? Yeah. Walk into it. There we go. Oh, there's two of them. Probably have to back off here. Come on. See if I can get the high ground here. They still creeping around here somewhere? Kind of wish uh, I hadn't used those uh, grenade rounds or those uh, grenades. Period. Where are they? Just the fact that this blizzard makes things a little bit more eerie than they should be. Christ. <laughs> I guess I have to go have to go looking for them. There they are. There's one at least. Get a drop on him? No? Where'd he go? Oh, this is not good. Oh. Come on. Okay, there's one. Now, where's the other guy? There he is. So I'm sneaking around the corner right here. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> Can't be right next to you, man. There he is. Okay. Oof. Looks like that the music has finally subsided. Alright, well... <clears throat> with that, maybe it's just me, but I think the blizzard just thickened a little bit. Or it's gotten a little worse. Or maybe it's just because, you know, without a threat in the area, Nate's... Nate's animation has uh, gone back to limping. Looks like we have to make it to this burning fuel tank. Always a good idea, right? Head towards the burning fuel tank and uh, climb out of the area. Stick with the uh, M4 here. Yeah, I'm guessing that piece of wreckage that flew towards us a couple minutes ago was one of the caps here on this thing. Come on. Lead out or I'm gonna climb up. Eh, it looks like we're gonna climb out. I'd prefer that, definitely. <laughs> and of 
course, the uh, cross dissolve here, just to show you how long he's been wandering. But I guess there is a limit to Nate's will. Probably come to the end of it here. Is this going to be the end of our hero? <laughs> of course not. But uh, things definitely look a little grim here, and we have a stranger in the distance. Looks like a local. <laughs> Better hope he's friendly. Yeah, it definitely looks like a local hiker. He's even got one of those uh, those hiking staffs with him. How did I get here? You know, if anyone speaks Tibetan out there who's watching this, I know it's kind of rare, but um, yeah, I wonder what uh, what this character is saying. How long have I been out? Yeah. Tom. Tom. Thanks. It's a nice cup there. Uh, no, no, no. That's that's plenty. Uh, I wonder if it's some uh, some really strong tea. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Nice. Ah, uh, looks like uh, he has to stand up. Thanks. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Some sure. new digs. Shepherd Karan Gudesha. Sure. Karanum the Kijishi Gudesha. Looks like he wants us to follow him. Yeah, he dragged us out from the mountains and looks like we're in his hometown. The hell am I? Sure. Ninam the show. He keeps saying sure, which probably means to follow him. Anyway, we are in chapter 16 now. Where am I? And uh, we haven't really quite hit the 20 minute mark, so I'm just going to go ahead and follow this dude. Uh, we're going to learn his name later on officially, but uh, his name is Tenzin. And, oh hey, Yak. Does anyone speak English? Of course not, bro. <laughs> Looks like we've crossed from uh, Nepal into Tibet. Well, you speak English, do you? <laughs> you do, Nate, of course. Of course, the yak won't speak English, but uh, that's the joke, right? God, these chickens are huge. Then again, they're roosters, so I guess they're not that big. From what I remember, I think I've uh, I've handled chickens a couple times. I got it. Follow you. Jeez, they grow them big here. <laughs> nice hometown. Yeah, right in front of the mountains. Lots of sunshine. Doesn't look like the weather's too bad. Excuse me. What? <laughs> and I'm wondering, you know, if this is if this is like standard Tibetan or if they're speaking some kind of weird dialect. But uh, you know, I guess I guess we won't really know. Let's see where Tenzin takes us. Yeah, we again we don't really know his name right now, but uh, since I've played this game before, obviously I know who he is. And uh, we will learn his name uh, officially, I think, in either one of the next upcoming cutscenes. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to end the video here with, uh, with us taking a tour of uh, Tenzin's hometown. <laughs> Everybody seems friendly enough. I guess the only animals around here are, uh, are chickens and... Come on, Tenzin. Are uh, chickens and the yaks. Oh, he's having a chat with his neighbor. I think. <laughs> but yeah, the place definitely looks cozy. The settlement looks pretty well built. I still have no idea what you're talking about, Tenzin. <laughs> and, you know, I I thought it was a good choice to, uh, you know, have the subtitles not show what what they're, uh, what Tenzin is saying. <laughs> Looks like these kids want to play hide-and-go-seek. Uh, because, yeah, Nate doesn't understand Tibet. I guess it's one of the languages, you know, he doesn't know how to speak. Oh, hey, Jun Yak. 
<laughs> I was wondering what would happen if we approached it from uh, from behind. Guess they smell bad. Okay, well, uh, anyway, this is going to be the house of the person that Tenzin wants us to meet, and we're going to meet this person in the next video. Hey, what's up? Kind of like those hats. Those hats are look pretty warm and comfy. <laughs> kind of like the the lean in there that Me Nate did. Show. All right, hold your horses. Anyway, um. Let's go ahead and uh, take a break here. So next time, we're going to go ahead and go through that door, see what's waiting for us. So as always, like, favorite, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you wish. Take care, and until next time, peace out.